You're this perp back with another video and I just got out of watching the boogeyman I got to see it a little bit early They had like a little early screener and I was not expecting it to be damn near a packed house in there, but this is a brand new Stephen King Adaptation this is directed by rap Rob Savage Which I completely forgot that Rob Savage was directing this because like Rob Savage has made some of my favorite horror movies in the last like two to three years with like host that came out in 2020 that was one of my favorite horror movies to come out of that year if you have not seen host i would highly highly recommend checking that out and then go watch dash cam even though i liked uh host a little bit more but anyways this is starring uh sophie thatcher if you don't recognize her she is from yellow jackets she plays nat or natalie the young natalie she's always going to be natalie to me i couldn't I couldn't turn that off in my brain because I'm just so used to seeing this actress play um, uh, that character. But anyway, she plays uh, Sadie in this and her little sister, Sawyer, that is played by Vivian Blair. These, like, let me talk about this little girl real quick because she did an amazing job in this. She wasn't annoying because usually, you know, when we get these kid actors they're very annoying and unbearable but man she made me laugh she showed her bravery and but anyways to kind of get into this story without spoiling anything this is a pg-13 horror movie keep that in mind but it's very rare that you get these types of pg-13 horror movies that are actually effective because usually they go for the cheap jump scares which there are jump scares in here but man rob really knows how to scare the fuck out of you bro like <laughs> there's so many different elements to this but this is following uh sadie and her sister and also her uh her father they just lost their mom in a car accident don't even know exactly how it happened if it was like a drunk driver or whatnot um, you know, and she has to kind of deal with this trauma going into school and everybody, you know how that is when you're in high school or somebody dies or something happens, you know, everybody wants to feel, uh, sympathy for you. Some of the girls are just completely trash and, you know, some of her friends have been distanced from her and whatnot, but I really like how this movie kicks off because it doesn't necessarily kick off how you would think. Uh, we get to see what the boogeyman himself is actually uh, capable of in this movie early on where he kind of does this like if you've ever watched from if you've ever seen those creatures how they can kind of mimic a person's voice that's what the boogeyman does in this he mimics uh, a character's voice and that ends up murking this baby and I'm just like, wow, th this boogeyman, I have to tell you, straight up does not play, bro. Does not play. It doesn't matter if it's during the day or at night. This boogeyman is going to mess with you. Doesn't matter who's in the room. It kind of reminds me of The Conjuring 2 in that way where the, the ghost was not afraid to kind of show itself. And you do get kind of the reveal of what this creature actually looks like. And I'm glad that they kind of kept it hidden and just in the dark a lot of the times because a lot of the ways that they utilize the scares in this are really dope there's a lot of like flashing lights i'm i'm surprised that they don't have like a um one of those triggers you know for people that um that have epilepsy and stuff because that could fuck with you i don't know but that whole scene in that um that therapy room bruh and also watching this with a packed crowd was made the the experience 10 times better because everybody was very reactive nobody was really like what the fuck or everybody was really enjoying themselves to the point where a lot of people were laughing a lot of the jump scares were really affected the sound design was just fucking terrifying it just it's gonna leave you on edge you should definitely go watch this after you get done watching spider-man or if you don't even want to watch spider-man you're looking for something that will legit have you kind of shook and kind of scared definitely go watch the boogie man i thought it was a really well put together film just the way that he's able to just kind of psychologically get into people's heads and you know eat off their trauma and whatnot it was just 
really well done and you know what i'm saying i'm curious to see if they're going to make a sequel out of this or if they're going to make this a whole franchise because you can kind of start this off with pretty much anybody and who's to say that the boogeyman is gone and he's been here for so many years as it was kind of stated in this movie so yeah this movie surprised the hell out of me like i said it's very rare that you get these type of uh, pg-13 horror movies but i put this right up there with like um drag me to hell i know that's really high praise but yeah this was a very effective horror movie better than i expected highly re I recommend y'all check it out shout outs to rob man he did it again with this movie i can't wait to see what he does next but until next time i'll see y'all in the next one peace